real thing. I didn't know about this until right now. Michael Jordan, he's like the greatest. Okay. So in, of Smash, it basically means you are the version of Michael Jordan. You are to Smash as Michael Jordan is to basketball. Okay, Numbers is leaving. He is taking his stuff and going home. And as we get, as Numbers leaves, we are getting into game number one. Fawn versus Dill here on Small Battleville JDC. And we're just not, we're not going for any tricks, any traps, any games, any character knowledge checks from Fawn. Just straight to this good old fashioned duck hunt duo. Yeah. And I mean, wait, these two, they two play of the a lot. oldest three characters in Smash. True. Shoutouts. Or oldest four, I guess. Pac Man. I was thinking it is Pac Man. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Well, we have a ledge trap going. This is just going to be a pretty slow calm set. You're going to see just. Mm -hmm. Projectiles turn around, a lot of projectiles turn around. Yep. And you're going to see a lot of chilling out outstage and chilling in the corner for sure. And Laser, we saw Fawn use those gunmen defensively to great effect earlier. Unfortunately, air dodging off the up B a little early. And if you don't know, duck on up B puts you in special fall, but you can press one action, whether it's an aerial or an air dodge, directly at the like near the end of it. And you have a little bit of leeway, so you can change your timing, change your distance a little bit, but afterwards you still get put in special fall. So Fawn there, doing it a little early, still goes to the blast zone, losing the stock, gets caught, tries to find a can twist trap, but still play, having played Fawn as much as they have, recognizing it, able to drift it back, and basically cause Fawn to get hit by her own trap there. She still is managing to find this advantage. They get Dill in the corner though, but Duck Hunt is not great at contesting you when you go that high. Yeah, for sure. But Fawn belligerently chilling out here as per usual. As hard as it is to kill Rob, she's gonna do her best. Has the gyro, has the can ready. Dill chilling out on the corner here, taking her time. 180% on this Rob. <laughs> the gyro now 186. Yep, How high can we go? Um, honestly, I mean, it's Rob, so, like, I wouldn't be surprised if we see 200. 500%. Uh, okay, that one's a little ridiculous. 1,000%. Uh, that, the game doesn't 2, even... 2,000%. Okay, at this point, you're just gonna <laughs> say it's gonna go over 9,000, and I'm just gonna have to accept when we, when the... That's what it is. <laughs> Goku's actually been in Smash this whole time. You just have to somehow get yeah, the percent no, bar exactly. to say over 9,000. You gotta hack the game, and Goku yeah. appears, and he says, Hey, guys! Yeah, when you if you hack the game to get the percent bar to nine thousand and one. Speaking of, oh, over oh over a hundred and thirty percent between these two players right now. This is like this is absurd. Okay, three hundred and thirty. Okay, sorry. finally dies at the tipper after two hundred twenty. Two hundred twenty. Well, that's the matchup. You play duck hunt, you got to deal with this. But this duck hunt with rage, like max rage duck hunt. Who cares? Killing it. <laughs> two hundred twenty. Bob's big. Copium. Play a better character. Uh, Duck Hunt is good. That's true. Duck Hunt is good. Duck Hunt is really hard. Yeah, Duck Hunt is good, but really hard. And also, like, when we say good, we are like mean, like, high mid-tier. I would say Duck Hunt's, like, top 40, top 50. Okay, but that's, like, high mid-tier. It, yeah, it, it just depends on that's your like, philosophy. That's, like, halfway of... Uh, that's, like, mid middle of the cast. That's, like, average. Which is so crazy to me, because the cast is so good. Yeah. Gyro to up air, another... Okay, that might have killed off the like, top. Like, there is one bad character in this game, and it's Ganondorf. Uh... I don't know. Hina got 17 the collision. Well, I think there's zero bad characters in this game. Fair. Anyways, I... this is a very off-topic debate for Rob and Duck Hunt at the moment. Dill getting the juggle, finding that beautiful trap on platform to keep things going, tries to read... Eat the descent with that back air, but Fawn just basically not mixing it up. In is the mix up in and of itself. They'll try to read a fastball, came up short, now forced to go high with this burner boost, burning a lot of fuel, trying to find a way back down. But the fastball air dodge is going to do it. However, laser going to disrupt the can, and Fawn not able to maintain that setup, not able to get this can to control the space she wants it to, and Dill's taking full advantage of that disruption. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, this is such a hard position for Font to be in. You're in the corner against Rob. You are at 112%. Is this death? Oh, wow. That's untackable. Yep. That was insane from Dill. The back air is the perfect option because it's so active, it covers all the frames. And but you feels also, bugs, man. But you also recognize, like, what's so impressive there is that Dill recognized that that was going to be untackable. Right? Yeah. Even, but... with, even with an LSI, even with LSI down. Like, you That's know. just how it goes. Also, that's an emote at this waypoint. Is, this is a fantastic song. If you go, to, if you go to the waypoint chat, it, there's an emote called "Feels Bugs, Man," and it's just bugs with the yeah. eyes rolled back. But in this the is head. this is the Sniper Wolf uh, fight from uh, from Metal Gear, I believe. Or no, this is You're solid. Metal Gear Solid. Thank. 
It, this is Metal Gear Solid, right? I'm sorry, I mixed my songs up. There's also, a... Game Watch is older by one month. Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> we knew that one. We we did say it. We we said, these aren't the two oldest. They're two of the four oldest. We have Pac-Man and Game and Watch. <laughs> Pac-Man's older than Duck Hunt, and Game and Watch is older than Bob. Oh wow, it's late. Yeah. Why did we start streaming these other matches so early? It's because they're cooking. <laughs> okay, you're it's right. such good Smash Ultimate. What did you expect? Where did the camera go just there? Hold on. Uh, did you see that? It, it just was, went all yeah. the way down. I've never seen that before. I think I think it like I think it it had like a weird jig where it tried to follow the can and the player at the same time. Yeah, it literally, but it normally doesn't oh. follow the can like that. It just fully pulled all the way down to the blast. Yo, zone. Vinny with the sub shoutouts. Absolutely, that gunman taken so much damage. It was active for so long that Fawn was able to run back behind it, use it to extend another one of Bill's airboxes and get a second punish off the same gunman, which was insane. That and man has a gun. Well, more like he doesn't have pants, but. He has a gun and no pants. That's crazy. Man, Smash, really a game where you can get cowboys in their underwear and uh, princes with no f shoes on. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, uh, Dill with the gyro combo go, getting Dill. a little bit technical and the, the can, can coming in clutch, but at like 160. And Fawn went from, you know, be having Dill at kill percent at zero to having Dill at kill percent and finally taking the stock with over 100 to her name. That, that was being a cute said, little optimization on the combo there, doing Clay Pigeon and then going for up tilt, up air, up air to get a little more damage eked out. And now Dill has to get out of the corner. And the juggle situation. And whereas like, Rob Nair is so good at landing against most of the cast because it immediately sets off that can with the fire property. The, it, the platform it, tech mm -hmm. chase with the Clay Pigeon, where she dashed, oh, forward, under, she dashed under, forward under the platform, she dashed back to center to throw the Clay Pigeon mm -hmm. to cover every tech option. Mm -hmm. She's so good at this oh game. My God. I'm just gonna say it. Fawn is so good at Holy this game. Holy raw fundamental like, hashtag if, real smash. All I'm telling you, if Fawn could travel, if Fawn could travel the same amount Jackal travels. Oh. Which Jackal does not travel as much as most toppers. If Fawn could travel the amount Jackal travels, Fawn would be top 30 in the world. I'm just gonna. I say think 30 is a lot, but Fawn would definitely be like in, in those. Like, Fawn, I'll, would be, I'll say Fawn would definitely be in the conversation for those like, old ranked okay, players. Okay, I, I was gonna say. I, I mean, I think she'd definitely be old ranked. I think she. People would have yeah. Duck Hunt a little higher on their tier list, True. and that's all I'm saying. And speaking of, that was some fantastic juggle. Yeah. Thing. And that's because not only is that up air hitbox very active, but as uh, as we started to say earlier, before, this is the pivotal you, moment of the game, though. Absolutely. Because the truth is, if and the it can, didn't kill. if it if it had traded stocks yeah, there, it I was gonna awful. say I I expected a trade, mm -hmm. but the can not killing there is just the perfect storm for Fawn. And this, okay, look at this. You ready? Yeah, this is absurd. Look, it covers everything. It covers it's everything. The second, it's it's the dash back in the second one into the third clay oh. pigeon. Oh like it, it, it's it's not even the first clay pigeon on the platform for me. It's the dash back into the. I'm going to make you think I'm going to do something immediate, so you're going to delay your tech option, but you're reading the delay tech option, then you're using it to cover everything, and then you're comboing it vertically afterwards where you normally see horizontal combos. Those, but can so good as well, right, with at contesting Nair and juggling Rob because the fire properties set it off immediately, mean that Rob can't land with Nair against Duck Hunt as freely as other characters, which means that you're up air, as, as well as him being a bigger hitbox, which means the multi-hit NX more consistently means Duck Hunt's actually weirdly good at juggling Rob. Girl, you are cooking right now. I just be talking. Oh my god, like, Clay, it's another it's one! It's an infinite! It's another one! Wait, no, that's not an infinite anymore. They never uh, I mean, it, it, actually like is, it is actually a true 40% buff know. on the entire cast. Like, bugs... That was good DI, the and they still died. I was say, with the platform, without the platforms, that actually would have been death there off that clay pit. No, I know. On Bob at that percent, which is crazy to I've think seen about. it happen. I've seen Vaughn play against Bowser's. I also love that Clay Pigeon mix-up, just leaving it on the platform there, saying, Absolutely. And if you jump, it's going to act almost like a C4, right? And this is another one, but unfortunately, Bob like being big. There's no rage either, yep. like last time. And There's... It's, it's just, and, and honestly, Duck on Up Air is one of the moves I think that feels like it scales with rage just like more than almost anything else, just because of how its knockback growth is calculated. Yeah, well, I, I do know that base knockback of moves will actually scale more with rage than knockback growth. Yes. Great F2. But we can talk about the nerd stuff later. Yeah, well, that's for after the set. Exactly. And we are in an even game right now. Oh, game and three. Triple up here this time, finding 50% and the can as well. It is no Doing longer exactly even. what we talked about, right? <laughs> Contesting that Nair for free. 
allowing Fawn to find a second can and a juggle situation. Now the gunman tanking the gyro hit and finding a punishment on its own. Fawn just managed to find 100% just off of a juggle into a trap, into another trap, into a... You're gonna checkmate yourself right now. Ow. Ow. The, this can has two hits on it, so watch for it to explode soon. Fawn tried to set up the bounce back into that f tilt comboing in the compound knockback with the can. Unfortunately, she missed it, but it didn't matter because she hit the tipper and she was able to find the stock anyways. Now with a slight advantage, but it's not going to last long. You see her wheel in her chair. You knew she did not want to lose that one then, JDC. But now one stock is all that separates these two from making their way to losers finals to fight Vivi and going home at third place. Who's going to take it? Well, Fawn is in a really good position right now, but the landing nair from Rob is so good. Setting up these reversals, Dill in the corner. And that gunman was so smart. You let yourself cover platform, but also use the gunman to cover low, catch the gyro, get that hit stop modifier, and control that space forcing Rob to really just back off play defensively. And you gotta take just you basically gotta take the platform away for free. That being said, Fawn still got forced in the corner. I love the fast fall mix up into that frame one clay button to get out of dodge, dead, but the dead. rotor arm is gonna do it. And the controller disconnect. We're not even gonna see the end that, of this game. I I think more than any other Rob in the world, Dill does run off rotor arm. And it's this like weird but, kind of almost like nuclear option mix up where I was gonna say, but watch that rotor arm. Fawn was at the very top and the edge of it. You might have actually been able to SDI out of it. I don't think so. You um, can you can on very specific spaces. No, but, not things, there. But yeah, no, you're right. It pulled I in. think if anything, that might have been Fawn getting that far, it might have even just been the effect of SDI. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, but, and I mean, there's also like, depending on how you angle it and drift back forward, there's there's definitely like, I think Dill also angling it back, right, which pulled Fawn in a little bit more also really helped as well. Just lots of beautiful micro spacing here from both players. But, uh, like, look at these ledge traps from Fawn are just so smart. They're this so covers, good. I just want to talk about this one for a second. Because, oh, because this one covers literally everything, JDC. Watch, watch this. You, you throw the can. Okay, it covers the jump space, right? So you can't jump from ledge here. So you have to sit there. And so then it lands. Now it's covering get up attack and neutral get up. And now gunman's covering jump off double jump and roll. Yep. So you can't do that. So now you flip can, so it's covering jump again. You cover the immediate jump, and then you get the auto cancel, which means that because you're covering all that, you know they're not gonna go for roll because of the gunman. So they're gonna neutral get up or get up attack. Since you get the if they get up attack, act you trade you clank with it. If they don't, you get the auto cancel and then just get a punish with an F tilt while they're in landing lag. It's just such a like the amount of levels that Fawn has to think in that short of time is insane. And I'm a snake player, but no other character in the game can cover that many options like that. It's crazy when you could just pick Fox and short hop Nair. <laughs> but and that's not even how thing. you ledge trap with Fox. You back air. Well, you can that's do why Nair it doesn't too. kill. You can do Nair too. Hello.